Well, hello and welcome to this uh, very short, quick review uh, on sine and cosine functions based on a two mark IGCSE examination question. Now, you, you might say to me, oh, well, what's the fuss about? Because in IGCSE exams, you're allowed to use calculator and all you have to do is to plug in these values and get your answer. But I've got in mind uh, paper one of higher tier, I just sorry, higher tier GCSE, and also paper one of core one AS level mathematics, in which you are not allowed to use calculators. So now my starting point has got to be the four quadrants, or in this case two quadrants only, and if I put in all the angles given to us, and uh, I've also got. Uh, uh, 22 degrees because 180 uh, minus 158 will give us 22 degrees there. Right now, in the first quadrant, all values are positive, whereas in the second quadrant, in which we find uh, uh, the angle 158 degrees, all values are negative except for sine values. Now, that being the case, it means that cos 158 degrees, which you find in the second quadrant, is negative, and that's the list of all four values. Right, next we compare uh, sine 38 and sine 158 degrees. Now, sine 158 degrees is the same as sine 32 degrees. Uh, if you're doing uh, uh, GCSC higher tier, you need to memorize how to do this. But if you're doing a uh, core one uh, that should be easy enough because if, if you expand well, 180 minus 22 is 158 degrees but if you expand this you end up that uh, sine 158 will be the same as sine 22, 22 degrees okay so now if we have a look at our sine curve um, as we as as x values increase from 0 to 90 degrees the sine values will also increase. Yeah, as x values go up, sine values also go up. So, which that means that sine 38 degrees is greater than sine 32 degrees, and by implication, sine 38 degrees is greater than sine 158 degrees. So now we've got sine 38 is greater than sine 158 is greater than cos 158 degrees. Now we need to compare. Uh, sine 38 and cos 38 degrees there. You can compare those two. Now, if you look at values of x between 0 and 45 degrees, which is between there and there. Now, up to 45 degrees there. Now, for a given value of x, for a given value of x, the cos value or cos x is greater than sine x which then means that uh, cos 38 is greater than sine 38 degrees. So we end up with cos 38 is greater than sine 38 is greater than sine 158 degrees is greater than cos 158 degrees. So our final answer will be, as you put that in the exam, will be cos 38, sine 38, sine 158 degrees, and cos 158 degrees. Now I hope all that made some sense, and please, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.